Good evening, gamers and gentlemen, and welcome back to the E3 Podcast 2021 edition. It was an odd year this year because it was all online. It was basically just a really long Nintendo Direct with some other companies there. Uh, my good friend and owner of the channel, Sir Chancelot, saw about 0% of it. And I saw about half of it because the other half I was in Dollywood in Tennessee. I'll have him introduce himself in a moment, but I'm going to make it a disclaimer right here and right now. I have a Wikipedia article called E3 2021 pulled up, and while it has most of the games listed that we are going to discuss, there's no mention whatsoever of the day-long Verizon conference. None of the Verizon games are listed on there, so if I forget any of them, my apologies. I personally loved what they had to say. I'm passing the mic to you, Ben. Hello, I'm. <laughs> uh, I'm the co-host of the podcast. Um, this is the third episode of this uh, world-renowned series. Uh, we're, we're even though it's years later since the first one, we're still doing the exact same thing, passing the mic back and forth. So the audio quality might not be the best, but this year we have a gimmick because. Uh, it's just me and Emery here, but uh, he saw more stuff, and he has the laptop pulled up, whereas I know zero things about this uh, E3 thing. So this is also, in addition to a podcast discussion, it's also a reaction video. <laughs> Alright, let's just jump into it. Uh, so, this technically wasn't a part of E3, but it was announced literally the day before. Uh, the new Elden Ring. Got a trailer. Ben. Really? Yeah. Ben, do you care whatsoever about Dark Souls? Well, first I do want to like actually clarify. I legitimately don't know. Like I'm not just faking these reactions. <laughs> but um I uh as you know, Emery, I, I have started a Dark Souls 3 campaign very recently. I've had the game since like 2018, but I got stuck on the first boss and rage quit for like three years. Then I came back, I beat the first boss, and start, I'm getting into it. So I do kind of care. A bit. Well, then I have good news for you, because the Elder Ring trailer was very hype, very epic. It's Viking Dark Souls. There's some Breath of the Wild elements, like open world riding things, like horses. You fight enemies, <laughs> and uh, there's some co-op in it. Uh, we can watch a trailer after this. It's not that long, but it looks... Pretty good, pretty solid. It's got that good old gameplay we all like. Next game? Or do you have anything to say? Uh, um, will it be the next Dark Souls? Is it as hard as Dark Souls? That's, that's, what's up with that? I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to contribute here. I'm look, look, try. if I had to guess, it's probably a little easier, especially with the co-op elements. Okay, here, here, Ben. It's gonna be the Dark Souls of Dark Souls. All right. Um, on to the actual conferences. The first day and the first thing was Ubisoft. We showed up for about halfway in because we were out doing Dollywood things. But overall, uh, my friends and I feel like we didn't miss anything because. <sighs> <laughs> Well, you know, it's a real tragedy this year over at Ubisoft's, more like Poobisoft's E3, because um, the Just Dance title for this year is not being released for the Nintendo Wii, and that we cannot abide by at Sir Chancelot. Okay, that bit we will be cutting. Ben, <laughs> if you're listening to that post. <laughs> okay, okay. Um. No, tell me about okay, okay. First game, this is the best thing I saw there. Oh, sorry. I'm shouting. Well, yeah, you're shouting. The distance was fine. But you, you this is shouting. unironically the best thing I saw at the Ubisoft conference. It was all downhill from there. And it was a sports game. It was an extreme sports game. It had a bunch of people at once in these really nice-looking maps with, like, biking and hand gliding and stuff. It was called Riders Republic. It was, like, extreme sports battle royale. Based on the description, would you be interested? Okay, I genuinely don't know if this is like a bit or not. <laughs> um, I, I 
I, I don't I can't say I would be really excited for a sports game <laughs> but it, well you mean like battle royale like with online multiplayer or just like with okay he he, he nodded his head so I mean I it could be cool if you just if they let you just be like broken with it you know like I don't want to just do like a racing game or just a biking game. sorry I'm being distracted a bit <laughs> but, uh, don't say what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it, it, it if it's like wacky enough I feel like that could be or if it's fun I mean I I can't I don't like you have a trailer in mind I just have sports like the word sports in my head <laughs> so hold on this will just take a second so no one told you life was gonna be this way. <laughs> <laughs> See, we get a little bit of ASMR as well. Mute, mute the this, computer. Mute the computer. I don't think this has gameplay in it. We're watching the trailer. Yeah, that didn't have gameplay. Well, no, okay, but even that, okay. that looks like wacky animated thing. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Was, okay, this has gameplay in it. I'm just gonna show you like a second. Okay, yeah. So I do want to see. It looks like Fall Guys. <laughs> 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 okay, no, that yeah, looks yeah. pretty cool. I, okay. I probably wouldn't play it, but it looks... I, I, I would understand. That looks fun. That looks fun. All right, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Do you care? No, but some people do. Okay, next game. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla is getting, like, one new thing added to it. They're saying they're making it better. I don't think people like these, this game. I don't think the changes they're going to make. Okay gonna say i don't think people like assassin's creed in general not for a while anyways <laughs> so that was pretty bad what? you're peeking hello hello yeah no one listens to this anyways um okay this may save it for you it didn't really save it for me since i'm still playing the 2015 version but um <laughs> One, Just Dance 2022. <laughs> okay. They're going to have more songs. They had this r really uh, flamboyant song in the trailer. What was the song? I don't remember. I just remember it being very sassy. Very sassy. Will you dance to it? it depends on the song. Can you, can you pull up the song, please? I want to hear it. I don't want to. Maybe after. On your own terms. Okay, I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, he can look up the Just Dance 2022 E3 cinematic trailer on his own. I just... I don't like Just Dance games. Is that a controversial opinion? I don't think so. I like Just Dance games, but I only play them on the Nintendo Wii, and they are not releasing it on the Nintendo Wii this year. That is unacceptable. You are not actually vibing with this song. Stop. I don't, know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I think it's a remix of like a uh, Lady Gaga song, perhaps. Well, that explains why it sounds like a Lady Gaga song. It's a remix, Emily. It's a, it's a... Okay, next. Far Cry 6. Very cinematic, very poggers. Just kidding. What do you think? It has Gus from Breaking Bad. I can neither confirm nor deny that. I watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thankfully, there was a lot dedicated to this next game. Personally, though, I still think it wasn't enough. Though, thankfully, it was also covered in length in another conference. Um, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. <laughs> Very cinematic. It's in space. Your favorite star people are there. Rosalina's there. She's not as cute. <laughs> She's not as cute as uh, Rabbit Lo Rosalina's there. Not as yeah. cute as Pokemon girls, but pretty nice anyways. Thoughts? I heard the first one was good. <laughs> I didn't play it. I thought, where? what is the origin of Rabbids? It was Ubisoft Minions. There were a lot of ads for it in Nintendo Power. I thought it was like a Nickelodeon cartoon. It definitely was at one point. I don't know if that's where it started. Uh, it's from a it's from an old old '90s game called Rayman, and they were like go the Goombas of that game. 
That's it. Actually makes sense, though. It's kind of lame. There was a Cold Ones joke about that, and now I understand it. Thank you, Connor. I mean me, Ben. All right, next game, because I'm sick of talking about that one. Except, oh... (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, Ben. What are we listening to, Emery? The Mother soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving on. We're spending too much time on this. Last game of the Ubisoft conference, because they spent a while talking about nothing. Uh, Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora. They did not show any gameplay. Wait, Avatar is in... Blue People. Okay. Is it in re- relation to the new movie coming out 2022? Or I still don't think that movie's real. <laughs> uh, prop- I don't think so, actually. I think it's just an Avatar game. James Cameron is a myth. He doesn't exist. Well, that's not true. All right. Um, Wikipedia is saying something about Gearbox software. You actually... Okay. They said something about the Borderlands movie. (laughs) Is that real? Connor knows someone. (laughs) I mean, Ben knows someone. Uh, The Borderlands movie is real, and I believe Jack Black is in it. He is playing the little funky robot who is an annoying piece of doo-doo. I played... Uh, is it th- Borderlands uh, Two? Because it was on. It was like a dollar on Steam one time. So I, uh, I haven't beaten it, but it's Claptrap is the robot you're talking about, and I really enjoyed the bits that I played. I mean, I did. It's not a comedic masterpiece, but I thought as a game it was pretty fun, for the bits I played. And I want to see Jablinski games <laughs> in the movie. Jack Black is the only selling point for that. I will agree. <laughs> oh, Connor's going to talk Go about how bad now. Borderlands is. Okay. I wasn't about to give one of my famous rants about Borderlands, but also um, Jamie Lee Curtis is also in the movie, which, Emmer, you probably don't know who that is, but she is the lady from Halloween. And nothing else. And nothing else. I, she was in something else. Halloween 4... Okay, all right, here you go, take it back. Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrections, (laughs) Halloween 2018. (laughs) How does this keep getting undone? Dawn of the next day, 72 hours remaining. (laughs) Me and my friends are once again in Dollywood, also the Splash Park. Um, Can we just just talk about Dollywood instead? It's... (sighs) It's like a worse version of Disney, except as like a museum for Dolly Parton. Only as fast food instead of having like nice restaurants that are still overpriced. Uh, they have a log ride that's pretty fun. All the water rides. The Splash Park was a lot of fun. It was kind of like Blue Bonnet. But I'm getting too excited about Dolly Parton. So I'm going to move on. What? Blue Bonnet? Blue Bayou, whatever. There was a movie that premiered yesterday at Cannes Film Festival. Uh, called Blue Bayou, and it caught my eye. I was like, they're making it about the water park? But no, but it is in Louisiana, and in Baton Rouge, in fact. And there were a couple of shots, you know, like, the street past 13th Gate that are, like, you can see, like, looking up the bridge? Yeah, but, like, we went down, uh, I'm talking to myself, we went down that road, like, after we did the escape room recently, and it was like that, like, where we were, it looked like they had filmed there. And... That, that's it. it. Is the morning of the Microsoft slash Bethesda conference. Out on the stage walks Todd Howard, who is now owned by Microsoft. <laughs> he made this very evident by uh, talking about Starfield. There was one trailer with no gameplay shown. Well, actually, I think it was like a cinematic... Tra- I think it was a cinematic trailer only using like in-game footage but it still didn't show like how it would be yeah. what it would be like to play yeah yeah that's always that's is that 
I don't know if that's like a growing trend or just a constant of just trailers always just kind of like when I whenever I look up a trailer uh, just for a game like I'm, I'm trying to see what it's like to play it not just like what the vibe of, of it is because it's that's apparent like from the beginning you know so I don't know if that's like a growing trend or if that's just sort of in the marketing or I don't know how that works it just you shouldn't have your video game trailers be movie trailers. Anyways, um, there's a lot of stuff I just want to skip over. Sea of Thieves is going to feature uh, the Pirate Man from the Pirates movie. Jack Black? S- Sparrow, yeah. That one. For the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> 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 They did not play the theme song during the trailer. <laughs> Said they had some regular pirate music, but that's about it. It looked good. Um, Battlefield 2077. Someone else has already made that joke. It looked like a shooter. Wait, what, what's it actually called? Battlefield 2042. Tell me about it. it it's like a future shooter. Didn't have anything that stood out, really, except it was, like, in the city, and they were shooting each other. Did you ever play a Battlefield game? I have one, because it was... I have one. I think it was either three... Yeah, it's three, because it was free with uh, Twitch Prime loot, and I played, like, one bit of it. And it was... I played one bit of it. Your name. John Battlefield 2042. Your mission. Kill Alien. That was another bit. Keep listening for more great bits like that. <laughs> um, Fallout 76. I think they released a new skin or something. I don't know. Elder Scrolls <laughs> Online. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, Does anyone here care about Halo Infinite? By anyone, I mean just Ben. I've never played a Halo... No, I played Halo Wars, which was like the Clash of Clans style. What do you call that? Where it's like... A tactical RPG. Basically, yeah. Tactical RPG. Well, no, anyway. I So I don't really care. I probably want, could play the first one someday because I heard that one's the best game ever but also but i only care to the extent that like there were rumors that it's the most expensive game ever made and i just want to know if that's true and if it's true how that pans out for him. all right ben had more to say about that than i did because it looked like a shooty game to me <laughs> um well, I, don't, I don't actually care about it i just i was interesting though thank you yeah. um uh, there's more here about far cry 6 Slime Rancher 2 Among Us is listed here. Yo! <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. What, what's up with Among Us? What's Among... Sorry, I tried to do a pun, but it didn't really work. Anyways, uh, Outer Worlds 2. My parents play Outer Worlds 1 a lot because they wanted something to scratch that Fallout itch. And it works pretty well. I prefer Disco Elysium, but that's just me. That was Microsoft and Bethesda. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping for anything about the new Elder Scrolls game? The one they like had one little announcement for like three years ago, then to follow up on? Sorry. Sorry, there was nothing. <laughs> Anyways. I, I, I mean, is anyone even like hopeful at this point? Like were there were they were there people seriously expecting them to announce the next Skyrim game? They did announce it three years ago. They just <laughs> didn't follow up on it. Okay, um, Square Enix. I do have things to say about their thing. They're doing like this remake of the first Final Fantasy that looks really edgy anime, not an RPG, but like an action RPG. Now it looks not good. It's not look fun. Don't play it. Don't play the first one either. It's kind of broken. 
It's Final Fantasy. It's going to be bad by default. Oh, shut up, Connor. Final Fantasy 7 and 6 are pretty good. It's Final Fantasy. It's going to be bad by default. <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 has a cool moment where you steal an airship and it plays the theme song, but it's really high energy. It's an anime RPG. It's going to be bad by default. <laughs> I, I just don't, well, t- I, I just don't play many. I don't, pl- I don't, I don't, I don't actually play video games. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Um, I, I did. I used a um, song from Final Fantasy in my most recent Letterbox Lottery. I didn't know it was from Final Fantasy. I just knew what the song was. I used the Shazam app, and it told me. And that's how that happened. So watch that video if you want to find the reference. Wait, what was the song? It's the one that was like... Uh, like the intense, or it's like um. It Sephiroth's theme, Final Fantasy Seven. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That song is so cool. I love that song. <laughs> Boss fight was also kind of hard because I didn't grind at all in that game. Anyways, um, my love of Final Fantasy Seven aside, well, love is a strong word. Oh, the remaking like. Final Fantasy 1 through 6 on PC, which they already remade it for mobile, so I don't know why you would just get another re-release of it. Anyways, uh, Marvel's Avengers. Oh, someone, someone has a little something to say. (laughs) Superhero, superhero Marvel. And that's all she wrote. Uh, oh. He just said it looks bad. So, Life is Strange remastered. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all... Well, maybe not him. But all two of us there's probably two, saw... There's only two people here, Emery. What are you talking about? We probably saw some Jacksepticeye playthroughs or something like that. This is this is the game with like the lesbians, right? That's all I know about it. I own this game and I streamed it back in like 2017 and I never finished it because the person who wanted me to stream it like never would join the streams and I wasn't enjoying it. So I had no reason to continue streaming it. But it, I think it's like funny bad, but uh, I haven't played it since 2017. I might finish it now that there's a remaster coming maybe it's a really really good game sorry ben i confused you for jacksepticeye <laughs> oh, <is that laughs> from? yeah probably um i only played like a bit of it they announced final fantasy 16 which also looks like an edgy and i don't want to rant too much but I like regular RPGs with fun, kooky stuff, not edgy boys with swords in the future. Except for Final Fantasy VII. So I, I know uh, nothing about Final Fantasy. So are they still... Like, that's a new installment. That's not like a remake or a... So it... it 16, and they're going back... Are they making, like, in-between games as well? Like, prequels and sequels and <laughs> spin-offs? <laughs> Sometimes, but the reason why they have 16 games is because each one is, like... Doesn't really have anything to do with each other, except for, like... Reoccurring animals and spells. Oh, really? It, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why it's like that. Anyways, um... Go play the original version of Final Fantasy Seven. Do not go play any of the ones after Final Fantasy IX. That's my opinion, because no one here can debate me. That's, that is true. No one here can debate me. Yeah, there's only one person <laughs> here. I've played 14. It's awful. You can say that again. I've played 14. It's an MMORPG, and it's absolutely horrendous in every way. <laughs> Connor just says that because he's bitter. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually didn't like that game. No, I believe you. It it definitely is anime boy bad. 
Anyways, um, there's something called PC Gaming Show here. Someone who cares more about this than me has something to say. Uh, he lied, uh, cause, like, I don't care about, like, almost anything that has to do with anything in here, except New Blood. Um, New Blood is the only good studio that makes things anymore. Um, so they dropped a, uh, they updated Ultra Kill, which, you know, the, the game is that you're going through each of the levels of hell, and now you're at the greed layer, and that was the new one, and it was... I think three levels, maybe it was four levels, but you finally got to kill V2, and I played that, like, day one. Um, they are coming out with Fallen Aces. I'm not really too sure. It's like a, a, a neo-noir-style, like, Doom clone. Like, it's it's made with, like, it's a first-person shooter, but I don't think it has any guns. You're hitting people with, you know, like you know lead pipes and other that's not a first person shooter then but it's 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 done in like in like a in like a id tech one engine i think so or no id tech two or three i can't remember so it's it's there's probably a little bit of guns in it they showed a lot of gloomwood which i will probably not be able to play because my computer is too poopy um they showed um what else? They showed a medieval with like RTX support, which and they maybe teased that there would be doing a little bit of VR stuff with that, but we're not really sure. We just literally saw like a 0.5 second clip of footage, so I don't think there's any any way to tell. Um, but uh, every everybody needs to play Dusk and Ultra Kill, and if you don't, you're lame. All right. I know nothing about uh, what he just said, but all of it sounded pretty cool. I want to play a neo-noir first-person shooter without guns. <laughs> and uh, Ultra Kill has been sounding pretty interesting, even though I have not played it. But he's been talking about it a lot. I just want to say one of the games ta uh, listed for PC gaming show is called Orcs Must Die 3. Sorry, Ben. Well, Sorry. It, it'll sound like it's only one ear. Oh, really? Well, yeah, because it's only picking up this, and when you have it like that, it'll just sound like you're talking about My right game. ear really enjoyed this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to skip over Capcom. They talked about Street Fighter and Monster Hunter. Are they still making them? And Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney! Ace Attorney looks fun, but... Yeah, I, I've i just seen, like, the GIFs on Twitter. It looks pretty funny. Yeah, I would play it if I played it, but I don't. So true. Not yet. I have to start somewhere, and it's not with the game they announced. The final day? June 15th? The day that's going to save E3? Nintendo. Yes! <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. Oh, you want to hear what character was released for Smash Bros. Ultimate? Please tell me. I'm the biggest Smash Brothers fan. It was a fighter from some fighter game. Did they have a sword? No, but they had fists. At least it wasn't another anime character with a sword. They got to alternate. <laughs> Well, there is there is one character left to be announced. You could get lucky. Please, oh please. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, I didn't really care about that character. They already had a me costume for it. On the bright side, that still means there's hope for Sans. <laughs> Anyways, um, they talked about Life is Strange again, being on the Switch. Yes. I'll I'll buy that on the Switch. They talked about Marvel again, being on the Switch. <laughs> They talked about worms. Worms, everybody. Uh, ooh, they are going to re-release three Super Monkey Ball games on the Switch. Personally, I am kind of a little excited for that because I never played any of those games, and they look enjoyable. With added bonus Harambe mode. Ben, do you know what Super Monkey Ball is? I'm going to be honest, I really don't. 
Did you play Mario Galaxy? Not yet. Oh, well, I was going to use this metaphor. And by metaphor, I mean simile. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Yeah, I, I've seen, like... I mean, I probably would, yeah. It, yeah, it's where you're just in this ball, and you roll around, mm-hmm. and it's like you're tilting it, and you try not to fall off. That's the game. I'm, I'm at... another wrong bitch. I'm not gonna make another one of that. I'm just saying. I'm not even making a joke. I'm just saying. I, I actually really seems interesting. I've always wanted to get into Monkey Ball. I was just scared about the awful controls, and now I might actually play it. Knowing nothing about this, it just seem, sounds really stupid. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all I have to say. We can end the pop. I agree with all the opinions shared today. Anyways, uh, I lost my place. Oh, dude, this is, like, actually one of the best things. Not not that. Uh, <laughs> the re- re-releasing a lot of the Mario Party boards from the Nintendo 64 and a lot of the mini-games from the N64. On to what? Just on Switch. To- so just, like... Like a new game that's remaking a lot oh. of the best maps oh. from the Nintendo 64. That was, like, DLC for the new one. No. Okay. I've heard a lot of really good things about the Nintendo 64 Mario parties. I've played the ones on the GameCube. They're really nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except when you have the CPU on hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. Awesome. Okay. Okay. To the Mario, swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to talk about Metroid. Oh, oh. (laughs) (laughs) Metroid. Okay, okay, so I I don't know why I'm so excited for this because I've never played a Metroid game to the end. I've been playing Super Metroid recently, but Metroid Dread looks really freaking good. Um, I... I don't know. There's just something about it this time where it's just I don't know. Metroid. He's he's a cool guy. He he he's super badass. And his name isn't Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> then what is it? That's the name of the alien thingy. You, no, no. I know more about this than you do. Okay. It's, it's a little jellyfish. No, his name is his, his name is James Metroid. <laughs> But no, um, seriously though, this 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 new game actually looks like it's going to be really really good, and I'm probably going to get this day one. Is there or is there not a robot in the new game? I I I if you saw the trailer, you could answer this question. Yes, there is a there is a robot in the new game. Well, some of us haven't watched the trailer, Connor. <laughs> oh, there is a robot in the new game. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm on board. You play as you play as Mr. Metroid, but this time there's robots. And it's it's actually bringing in a lot of the features from the 2DS, uh, not 2DS, 3DS remake of Samus Returns, which is pretty awesome. Why? <laughs> I, 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 I'm in reference to Emery. Do you have anything? Are you going to explain? Let us continue. <laughs> <laughs> so, they talked about something very exciting uh, that was talked about at earlier conference, which is now also going on Switch. Just Dance 2022. Woo! As featured in the Emoji Movie. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Moving on. <laughs> they will be releasing more courses to Mario Golf on the Switch. I thought you were saying Mario Kart. <laughs> the, okay, but they should add more to Mario Kart, honestly. Mario Kart 9. I think they should just keep expanding on Mario Kart 8. It's pretty good what they have. I actually agree with that. I was just joking. We need to get we need to get Mario trucks where they're driving big rigs instead. Well, that would... Mario Kart Maker. That's what they need to do. We are truckers and also gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, go play Mario Golf with your dad with motion controls on. It is a lot of fun. Anyways, 
Uh, WarioWare. There will be a new WarioWare game where you play as all the famous WarioWare characters in the little mini games. So they, the mini games can be solved different ways depending on which character you are playing as. That is the selling point. Also, the guy who does the voice acting for WarioWare narrated the entire trailer for it. He did a really good job. Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet. Because Connor, I mean Ben, <laughs> <laughs> really likes saying the names of people. Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to say some names of games y'all don't care about. Shin Megami Tensei Five. Adam made this joke. Max made this joke. It looks like a Persona ripoff. Never mind. I was about to say, I feel like they forgot that Persona was a ripoff of Shin Megami Tensei, but never mind. It just cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this. They didn't forget. They just don't know. Anyways, Daganrapa Decadence. I think decadence is a word that means fancy. Donkey Kong? <laughs> the game is cancelled. <laughs> Anyways, um Okay, okay, I'm gonna skip to the what we're all here for. Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Yeah, baby. What is like the origin of Rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> it was literally just what Ubisoft had to say, but Nintendo. Doug Bowser has never said anything in his years working at the company. Where is he? Advance Wars is being re-released. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is getting some DLC. Do I have to play Simple Wars before I play Advance Wars? Only if you are a casual. Anyways. Number 15. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. You might not expect the lame spinoff in your Zelda 35th anniversary, but it turns out that might just be what you get. <laughs> I don't like these games. I know people who do, but they are not me. Skyward Sword is being re-released. I'm not going to lie. I actually, for like, I mean, I don't anymore, but like for the longest time, I thought that Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity was actually just like an add-on to to um to Breath of the Wild. And when I actually looked up like footage of the gameplay, I was like, oh. Oops. Never mind. Clearly someone didn't watch our episode one E3 podcast 2019. <laughs> yeah, guys, we all we all have character arcs on this podcast. Mine is that I still don't like Age of Calamity. Anyways, my aunt bought it for me for Christmas. Shout out to my aunt. That was a cool buy, but I still don't like it. My character arc is that I played half of Breath of the Wild in the two years since the first one. <laughs> I finished that game in like a month. <laughs> Did you guys know there's going to be a sequel? To Breath of the Wild. There was a trailer for it. Wait, wait. Is there Can I? Okay, I'm going to say what Ben needs to hear about. Yes, Ben, there was. It was, you can go through walls. People's predictions about it were, were right. There are a lot of islands in the sky, kind of like Skyward Sword, but more open worldy. There still wasn't a lot of gameplay shown. There was like one time reversing thing he did with a boulder. It looked pretty fun. Yeah, I knew it got announced. I did not know there was a trailer. I'm surprised. I'm surprised how like I was able because I was also um out of town doing something during all of this, and so I'm surprised I didn't even like see anything on Twitter like later. But so it's just like, it, it, like what what happened in the trailer was it just like some gameplay stuff, or is there any like hints on like aesthetic wise stuff like that? There was no story stuff. Just gameplay really as far as i remember i think ben 2 may have recently seen the trailer for this so i'm gonna let him 
Well, well, I actually watched the Nintendo conference live, um, as well as one other conference that we'll get to later. Um, but uh, I, I, what I'm, what I'm, you know, worried. I don't know if worried is the right word, but just kind of confused about is what are they gonna like? Ha- I mean, they're they're keeping the same Hyrule, right? So are they are they only just are they only just like um adding the clouds and that's it i think the meme with the game is that since so much of it is gonna be in islands it's gonna be like the landscape was kind of shift around like terraforming wise so that's gonna be their excuse for why it's all new don't quote me on that that's just speculation but oh i hope it's my girlfriend (laughs) uh (laughs) yeah that i'll shit i showed you that meme anyways so yeah that's that game probably the best thing we can all agree except for maybe metroid fair enough except for mario rabbits (laughs) too (laughs) i don't get why people actually like that game anyways have you tried no there you go oh come on you got me there (laughs) Uh, they are releasing a limited edition Game & Watch, Zelda edition. Um, what kind of watch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The... And that was it. That's it? <laughs> the last day, we all watched it because we weren't going to Dollywood that day. Oh, we Okay, so... so... I don't know what conference this was part of. It might not have even been a conference. They might have just announced it on the same day. But there's a game that I only found out about, like, minutes before we started this called Immortality. And it's supposed to be... I forgot to talk about Horizon! <laughs> um, Sorry, did I miss that for you? Do you, do you need to do that again? Yeah, I probably need to do that again. Okay, you can do that so, I did, so, so before I talk about the, the, last, um, the last conference that only I know about... Um, there was a game called Immortality. I only, I literally only found out about this minutes before we started, or uh, since I Ben started the, uh, the the podcast. The, bit, the bit's over. You're okay. All right. Okay. But um, so it's supposed to be an interactive film called Immortality, and um, it's supposedly about an actress that goes missing. And now, what caught my eye about that this is that it's being written by the. I think his name is Barry Clifford or Glifford or something like that, but he's notable for having written the script for both Lost Highway and Wild at Heart. So those are, you know, David Lynch kind of cool. So that. And now to move on to the only good conference, Game Clam. Game Clam released, they, they revealed the Game Clam Slim. Um, it's not padding again. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. Just my other girlfriend. <laughs> I, I checked. The- okay, Ben, somewhere in the. This is a note for editing. Somewhere in the middle of Connor's bit, just cut this in. I forgot to talk about the Verizon conference! And then just cut it off there. <laughs> But no, uh, I was just looking on my uh, telephone. Uh, the guy who wrote uh, Lost Highway, Wild at Heart is Barry Gifford, not Clifford. That is a movie that's coming out later. <laughs> <laughs> Le Big Red Dog. <laughs> but no, he's only ever written, like you said, Lost Highway, Wild at Heart, Dance with the Devil, and then it, like the other stuff is just like nothing. Um, but I did not... <laughs> are you done (laughs) but uh no i had not heard about that and i am interested to see but uh good writer does not mean good game or film is it a game or a film that's the real question look i look all i wikipedia said genre of game interactive film i don't know what that means um so it's a game I, yeah, it's it's a game. It's probably like the Black Mirror episode on Netflix. Or... Bandersnatch. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know it. what that means, but um. I said it in a mocking way, but it is probably pretty cool. I don't know anything about. It. 
Oh, you haven't you haven't seen Bandersnatch? No, is what I said. Oh, actually, actually, it is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. But it's just it's just funny to make fun of because Black Mirror is like normie stuff. I think it's like ups and downs, but I think it's just popular, and that makes it bad. I think it's just popular, and that makes it good. <laughs> That's what I meant. Well, speaking of things that are popular, did you guys know that the game clam sold outsold okay, both the done. PS4? <laughs> If we do not use the funny Verizon end to the podcast, I'm just going to say this is the end to the third one. There may be a fourth. Depends on if E3 even survives. Because a lot of companies are kind of moving away from E3. And that makes me sad. Goodbye. See you next time. (laughs) (laughs) We end with existential dread. (laughs) Wait, why are you guys actually getting up? That's the end. That's the end. Well, what? yeah, but you're There's walking. There's nothing to talk about in Verizon. What they is... didn't do anything. I mean, like, they just about... sold. The... They just said, "Hey, we're Verizon. You can play games really fast. If hey, you use you us." Guys, did you guys know that in television is back? <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry. Was that rude to Verizon? Sorry. I have to. I have to apologize for them because they pay for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, you can say something if you really want. No, I was thinking. I think I think the ending it on the game climb with the Verizon bit is really funny. <laughs> <laughs>